to remove and reinstall the needle of an MSGS 200, you will need the included wrench or 9mm socket, a T10 torque wrench, and spray gun lubricant. The first step is to remove the air cap. followed by the plug. Next is going to be the fluid nozzle. Using your included wrench or a 10 millimeter socket, turn counterclockwise to loosen. Then pull the trigger and remove the rest of the way by hand. Next we need to loosen the needle bushing. It's a torque nut located behind the plug. Using your T10 torque wrench, you're going to insert it into the torque nut. This is a reverse thread, so you're going to need to twist the wrench clockwise to loosen it. You'll notice the needle will slowly start to make its way out. You will continue twisting the wrench until you feel slight pressure. Once you feel that pressure, give it a little bit more of a turn and go ahead and stop. We can now remove the needle. Grab the needle firmly and pull till it loosens then extract the rest of the way. If you cannot remove the needle by hand, use pliers wrapped in tape so you do not damage the needle. Pull until it loosens, then extract the needle the rest of the way by hand. To reinstall the needle, we're going to start with our spray gun lubricant. You'll place a couple drops on the needle and then spread over the entire back half of the needle. This will help with installation so we're not to damage any of the internal parts of the spray gun. Insert the needle into the spray gun until you feel it stop. Then using slight pressure, you're going to seat the needle the rest of the way. The needle will only push in to where about the crimp starts on the tip of the needle. Using your T10 torque wrench, you're going to tighten the needle bushing. To tighten, twist your torque wrench counterclockwise. You'll notice the needle will start to get pulled back into the spray gun. You're going to continue tightening until it is just snug. Do not over torque. Reinstall your fluid nozzle by pulling the trigger and inserting the nozzle twisting clockwise. Use the included wrench or 9mm socket to tighten just snug. Next, reinstall the plug. And last, the air cap. Reassembly of the MSGS 200 is now complete.